It's cup time. Forget this VPL nonsense, this VCL nonsense. It's all about the cup today, baby. Bonjour. All right. Hello. Hello. How you doing? I'm good. I'm good. No, no. Great. That's good to hear, man. Hold on. Let me turn down the music a bit. Actually, we don't need the music. Just us two is enough. Enough entertainment. <laughs> enough entertainment. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> well, let me tune into the stream, actually. Sure. Yeah. Oh yeah, uh, I need to. Sh I'll need to share my. All right, all right, all right, all right, all right. All right. <coughs> so I'm not. I'm not sick anymore, um, which is a good start, I think. It's a great. It's a great thing to hear. Nobody likes being sick. No, we like star, of course. All right, but uh, let's see. We have people here in the chat saying hello. Um, so yeah, I think we should just roll right into it. What do you say, No No? Yeah, let, let's let's go for it. What are we waiting for? There we go. So first up, we have the Griffins against Leyenda. I made this draw yesterday during the stream um, so let's see let's see how this one will go um, of course we'll we'll do the we'll do the time thingy but it should be fine there it is so now I actually need to put overtime and penalty kicks. Yep, and not forget this as well. Our cup scoreboard. All right. So without further ado, let's just go right into it. Boom. So uh, our predictions. Who who you think will win? I mean, that's a easy question for this first game, but I think I think Griffins definitely are the favorites, but. Remember the last season that they lost to Leyenda, I think once or twice. Um, so it is true. I remember the, the own goal by uh, Ferris. Yep. So it may just be Leyenda, maybe they're Kryptonite. So maybe we'll see. Maybe we'll see something different today. But I think Griffins might be the favorites. And just one change. Oh, sorry. One change to note is that. Uh, Mateo Hernandez has been replaced by Eduardo Gonzalez, who is a rookie, so he'll be he'll be making a start today. More rookies, more rookies, uh, especially throwing them in the in the cup like that. First game against Griffins. Whoop! I keep why does I keep showing up? I keep getting like jump scared by like news from windows <laughs> news news all right yeah there he is Eduardo Gonzalez playing on the left wing and no changes for Leyenda still the same team all right all right all right Alright, so, oh wait, oh, but, 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 but. hold on, hold on. So because I was doing the um, the Europe matches yesterday, it went into turbo mode. So I don't have to sit through like oh. a lot. <laughs> really, like, I could just speed it up, so I forgot to change it. 
but we're good now. So let's see. Uh, I'm on 120. 20. Nice. Oh, what a great pass to Sam. All right. Oh. A great tackle. Great tackle to uh, save the, the defense, save the, the, the Griffins early in this game. Yep, yep. By the way, guys, how do you, how's the sound? Can you guys hear no no all right? It should be the same as I did last time, so I'm just making sure. Here's Cabral. Oh, he's going to have a Maybe from shot. distance. That was good. Good effort, good first effort. By the way, we can congratulate uh, Ejdown on the first uh, Europe victory for the VPSA. Yeah, man, I was so I was so pumped to see that. I had I had my um my hopes low though, not gonna lie, because that ha that's happened like many times in the past, and then the teams just like for some reason just obliterate in the second half. But Ejdown really like really held their held their own. I was really really impressed. So yeah, big ups. If if Ejdan managed to win the next one, I think I might stream their last one, their last uh, Europa League match. Yeah. Oh, the Ejdan uh, cup cup run. Yeah. So, some would say cup merchants, but I'd say cup experts. Yeah. Hey, if it works, it works. Absolutely. Cabral's moving up the right wing now. He's going to send it in. Good, Good clearance. Course. Would be great to watch Eshton get demolished in Europe live. Man, come on. Why can't, why can't we just enjoy this? <laughs> Silly Baba. Oh, looks like Fred was <laughs> Fred was uh, lingering offside, and, and he just forgot where he was. Oh, that's good dribbling from Sam. Oh, ah, oh. he can go. Oh, yeah, he was trying to see Denise there, but Denise was a bit behind. But the intent was good. The Griffins are playing this very high line, uh, meaning when Leyenda gets the ball back, they immediately, they immediately face the four, four defenders early on, Absolutely. and maybe I think a through ball like we saw uh, at the very beginning of the game can make the difference for Leyenda. Yeah, absolutely. So it's definitely going to be down to Leyenda to see how they're able to cope with uh, the Griffins' pressure. Soboslai got the ball taken away uh, from him by Liao. Leander have been pretty strong in this match so far, so that's good to see. Badish now is going to move up from the defense on the attack. It's a good cross and a good header away again from Leander. Oh, they recovered oh. it. Oh, that was good. Good, very good effort. Uh, quick thinking as well, which I think lacks in a bit in uh, Leander's attack. They take maybe too much time to take their decisions, and by the time they have, that things pretty quickly. So. Yeah, definitely. That was a good reaction from Harunesh as well. Cover his post. And here's Bieber. Good collection.
Yep, the end of the fence has been strong so far, so that's very, very comforting to see. So we'll see how they're able to uh, stack up against them as the match wears on. But we all know that it takes just one opportunity for Fred to score or Sobers Light to score for the Griffins. Uh, they won countless games with these little 1-0 uh, score lines. So. Yep. Oh, that was a great diving effort from Fred. I'm surprised he even had that goal bound. Hanash again does well to push it out for a corner. It's going to be good. Aww. It's almost like I couldn't direct it towards the net. They are getting their chances. Complicated too. Yep. It's complicated to go ahead. It's complicated for him to uh, correct the trajectory of that ball in his position mm. to get a good strong goal. Yep, yep. Oh, Bieber's in the box. Aww. He had it straight at Harnash, but that was a good effort. Looks like Griffins have found their groove now. Absolutely, it's all started from the lane, losing the ball in the field. Yep, it seems to be that seems to be the pattern at the moment, lane that can't seem to cope with the midfield. Yes. Good recovery. Let's see if they end up can form an attack here. Here's Gabi. Oh, it's a good pass to Sam. Oh, he's through. Oh, Sam is through. Oh, good tackle. All it takes for Leander is a through ball to Sam or to Ramiro. Definitely. Yeah, absolutely. That seems to be their, their main go-to, just to like a ball to Sam and then Sam carries it into the box. So yeah, definitely the Griffiths will have to be careful with that. Stuff by Gabby. Good one touch pass. Yep. <laughs> That's how you get out of midfield, actually. Yep, very That's quick. Great to see. Yeah, quick touches. Avoid closing down. Here's Cabral. This could be good. Oh. Babatunde was just offsides. Good stuff from uh, Bile, I think that was, to draw Babatunde offsides. Very structured from Leenda. Actually, yeah. You can actually see what they're doing, how they're doing it. Mm -hmm. And so far, so good. Yeah, absolutely. They just need more of that killer instinct to finish the chances. Because they were twice in front of ball and couldn't get a shot. Mm -hmm. Oh, that was nasty from Bieber. But it's recovered easy from Oli Ender. Yep. Sam. Oh, they're getting closed down very quickly.
great pass from Aduya Dets. Just about already almost at the end of the first half here. It's been a lot of action in the midfield. Not a lot of fouls actually. I think that was maybe the first one we witnessed so far. Mm -hmm. Here's Gonzalez. Looks like Hannes draws it out for a corner. Betty swips it in. And a good clearance. Half time. Good stuff from Pettis. Oh, this could be good for Leenda. Ramiro with a good piece of dribbling. Oh. Great, great from Ramiro. But we're going to the break. It's still nil nil. I think this has been a solid first half so far. Well, I mean. It's over, so it's been a solid game so far, I should say. <laughs> Let me get some music back, but I'll play it I'll play it softly. There we go. Yeah, there have been many chances for the Griffins. Leander haven't had too many, but Leander have been able to cope with them. Yeah, actually, they held the Griffins so far, uh, not conceding everything. Not real clear-cut chances for the Griffins. No 1v1 with the keeper or that sort of thing. So, so far, so good, I'd say. And maybe they can take him to overtime or even penalties. We'll see. There's still some plenty of match to play through, so we'll see. All right. <laughs> whoa, whoa, whoa. <laughs> Jesus and Sobo slide. Wow, not even that far into the second half, and they're, they already need to butt heads a bit. <laughs> what was that about? Kick for Leenda. Bit of distance. Good pass from Axel. Sees Babatunde on the wing, and Babatunde's got some room to work with now. Maybe. I think it's his season, Babatunde. It's Babatunde's season so far. That's yeah. been really good, really solid. Yeah, he's he's been phenomenal. Uh, maybe we're getting glimpses of his rookie season. Yeah. But yeah, he's been exceptionally good for the Griffins. Same thing with Cabral. He's really he's really shown his uh his strength. Oh, it's a fight between those two, Sovoslai and Jesus. Yeah, I think they they're not they they don't like each other, <laughs> and it transpires on the pitch. Yep.
Oh, that control by Silver Sly, and he's got. Oh, he's in the box. Ooh. Oh, baby. That was a great effort from Silver Sly. It was just wide of the post. That was an excellent effort. So the Sly will juke down him. I don't see any difference so far in the season. <laughs> Jesus. Good stuff from Bieber. He turns to avoid a thread of volley. Saki idea for website. Add personal details like scored goals, assist former teams. Ooh. Oh! Oh! Great save good, from Hardash. Good save, great save. Yeah, Hadnash has been on it today as well. Here's Santos. All good stuff from Denise. Oh. Ooh. Yeah, so far we've seen more for his defensive work rather than his offensive work at Dave. But he's been doing. He's doing good for Leanda, but he's an all injured, so. Yeah, we'll see how he how he turns out. If you have to be subbed, he should be good to go, though. Here's Gabi. Oh, and he looks like he won't be good to go. He'll have to be subbed. Gonzalez. Yeah, that's a, that's a loss for Leander if he has to be subbed off. Yep. There it is. Latif's going to come on. Oh, Latif. Is it really a loss then? I don't know because Latif is, is, is a special character <laughs> on and off the pitch. So. Yep, he's he's really really someone. So we'll see we'll see how he how he does here. He he's done he's you know he's not a stranger to heroics. He's he's absolutely he's, he's been a hero in the cup before. So maybe he has something up his sleeve today again. Maybe he's uh, Leander's lucky charm. I don't know. We'll have to figure it out. And despite all the opportunities for Griffin, still no no. Yep. Here's Ramiro to Leao. This could be good for Leenda. Latif. Oh, Santos reads him by Santos. like a book. But yeah, I like that idea, the adding personal details to a player, like the scored goals, assist former teams. Are you thinking about, what, how do you think about uh, making it look? Like what, what idea do you have in mind? Yeah, I was gonna come off for Dwayne. Dwayne's also a pretty solid player for Leenda. Has been there for ages. For ages, since the very beginning, season one. Yeah. He's a he's the old man. <laughs> old man Dwayne. Oh. Old man Dwayne. Just about ready to hit the 70th minute and still no goals. Leander doing exceptionally well to keep the Griffins from scoring. Osvaldo Amiento. Oh, that's an interesting sub. Oh, and there's Armiento. Oh. 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 Good effort. I'll be very curious to well, see. I think uh, 
Yeah, Griffin's evolving with two rookies in the wings. Pass to Gabby. Oh, good dribbling from Gabby. Oh, great. Sim. <gasps> oh, what a goal! What a goal! What do you think of that, No-No? Oh, oh, this is absolutely brilliant. I told you, they just needed something, a little something. And that something was provided by the Mitra. Nice passing to get there. Good, good shot. He was left alone. And you know who it is. It's Sam Dimitra. That guy doesn't miss. He doesn't. What a pass from Gabby as well. And Sam to open the space. What a goal. Oh, it'll be very hard to come back from that, but it is the Griffins. You don't know. And Fred is off. Oh, and Fred is off too. Oh, my goodness. Oh, boy. The Griffins might be in a bit of a pickle. We'll see. We'll see what happens. This will be their first it's loss. Of go ahead. Go ahead. Yeah. It is a bit of a sticky one still for the Griffins. There's 15 minutes to go. They're one nil down. Rookies up front. Man, I don't want to. I don't want to say anything just yet because anything can happen. But I think Clayton that might actually be the Griffins' like Achilles heel or something. Absolutely, but we never know. On the right wing now. Yep, here's Armiento. Good cross. Good dribbling. Oh, that's a heavy touch. Cabral. Ooh, Cabral's desperate. He's desperate, man. We can't draw conclusions so far in this game, but uh, Leyenda's passing has been really top notch during the, the whole second half. Absolutely. What a goal that was from Sam, though. Absolutely. What a movement to get there. Yeah, and the curve was just pristine. But there's just about 10 minutes left here. Griffins are running out of time. Of time, solutions, everything. I, I think this may be the only shot on target for Leander during the whole game. It is an upset. It is an upset for the Griffins. Because if it ends in the same situation, they were set up to win the, the league and the cup this year. That was the objective for them. Is that the yellow card and for Patrick Rodriguez? Nope. Oh, Sam's going to go all the way. Oh, well, he can do it. Oh, no one can help him out. Oh, what a pass to Ramiro. Oh. Ramiro's in the box. Oh. The Great save from Lehman. He made himself big. Oh, he was absolutely left alone in this defense. He really was. He was a good corner. Oh. Sam. Oh. Easy one for Lehman. Yep. But Tyon Dwayne... Basically, it was at the net there, but he mistimed the header, so that was unfortunate. And now Griffin's going to go again. Except if Leander's defense holds up. Leander's defense has been amazing today, but they'll need to be exceptional in these last few minutes. Around five minutes to go without a time. They surely can't crumble now. But what if they do? Oh, 
Here's the That's tee. Deep. Always fouled. Fouled. <laughs> Not what you want to see from the Griffins. If you end up fouling the teeth, you're not in your game anymore. <laughs> it's over. Don't touch with Latif, man. It's a death sentence. Don't mess, don't mess with him. He's from South London. <laughs> <laughs> Two minutes of added time. Let's go big or go home now for the Griffins. They just aren't able to get through. This will probably be it. No Cabral with the interception. Silva Sly. Maybe the last chance. It may be Cabral. No, oh, Cabral. <laughs> what was he doing? No. He, he like got scared of the ball. And that does it. Hey, this is it. How about that? No, no. Oh, that was a great, great game. I love what I saw today, uh, especially in the passing play. And this victory by Leyenda is what makes you want to watch the, the, the TV Pesa, actually, the, the V Pesa at all. Great, Absolutely. great game. All it takes is just one thing. Like you said, like so many of us said, all it takes is one, one moment. And that's exactly what happened with Leyenda. And they'll be moving on to the semifinals. How about that? That was great for Leanda. They didn't have the best start of the season uh, in their history. But I think going to the semis of the, the Cup is a great, great achievement for them. And uh, with a little bit uh, more of that passing play, they can maybe, maybe get to the final. Yep. Maybe, th maybe this will be the moment the 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 spark that Leander need to kickstart their season. It's the cup magic. It's the cup magic. Yep. All right. Man of the match. I think it's got to be uh, one of the Leander defenders. <laughs> Three shots, two on target, and the end of hard possession. Just fifty-two percent, but. Yeah. That's actually not bad when you play against Griffins. Those are our subs. Yeah, okay, actually, I need to find out when uh, Denise was subbed off. Let's see. First minute. Okay. What do you guys think? Who was man of the match today? Latif. To, to be uh, uh, completely honest with you, I think it has to be maybe Dimitra. Uh, he was great, great on the pitch. Cantalupi was great. The game is not uh, saying bullshit this time. So yeah. Either Dimitra or, or Gabby Cantalupi. Let's take a look at Gabby's stats. Whoa. How about that for some passing? <laughs> Seven interceptions. Yeah, very, very clean stuff. And then Sam, obviously, with this one goal. I think I might give it to Gabby, though. I think that's a fair, fair uh, choice. True, true. Who got the assist for the goal? Gabby. Oh, well, yeah, then it, I think it completes the performance. Uh, I think it makes everything even better. Yeah, Gabby Cantalupi, man of the match. Sounds good to me. But let's move on to the second match. Uh, let me, oh, I have so many messages, I'll have to scroll down. All right. Next up, we'll have Rovers play against Norfolk. That one will be interesting to see because Norfolk they came back from the dead to qualify for this uh, quarterfinal. Yep. And Rovers they're not in the best form. 
all their lives. Um, um, uh, the assistant coach stepped down as well. So, it will be interesting. I think Rovers might have the edge in terms of quality, of, uh, of passing, of shooting, uh, overall quality of players. But Norfolk really can do it if they're in the form that they displayed last time. Yes, sir. We'll see. We'll see. Um, again, we might be in, 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 you never know, really, uh, like Leander showed us. Um, but, you know, we have guests now who, who's really been, uh, been a, an amazing star for Norfolk this season. So you never know. You never know. We'll just have to see how things transpire on the pitch. True. I think you already ha you also have Paquet for uh, Norfolk, who played for um, the Rovers uh, before, and he's not at the top top level uh, in the VPSA yet. But he's doing great, good so far in the season. Has a good start of the season for him. Uh, gets playing time, so it will be interesting to see him uh, how he will do as a starter for Norfolk today, facing his old teams on. Yeah. I think, like we saw in the previous match, I think Norfolk, their uh, ticket to a good result today will be good defensive work, um, uh, making sure that they stay composed at the back. And yeah. That's the thing with Rovers, they have the opportunities because they have a midfield that worked quite good, but they can't, they don't seem to be able to finish it uh, as well as uh, other top teams do. So that's what I'm afraid of with them. Sometimes they can score five and sometimes they just don't even manage to score one. Well, we're underway well, now. I think they're a good great team. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. Absolutely. I think Rovers are have, have really built something amazing. I mean, compared to from where they started. So, definitely really good stuff. Oh, Guest is through. Oh, Jordan Guest. Up to the right. Across. To Marcus. Ortiz to McGee. McGee's in the box. Ooh. It'll be a corner kick. Yep, Shaketi cuts it out, so it'll be a corner. Punched away. Good stuff from Kask. Jihoud now. Oh, it's a great cross. Good defensive work, though. That's the thing with Rovers. They were always in the top three teams in the league, but they haven't won anything. No cup, no league. And I think that's what's frustrating with them. See him, see him so close in terms of level, but not making it to either the final or... or title for the league so yeah so this will definitely be theirs for the taking this cup it's up to them absolutely they want to continue dreaming today so they need this one more than anyone i think definitely here's lee ji hoon Oh, Ademi wins it back. Ooh. Ooh. He tried to chip Schneider there. It was a good move, but poor execution from him.
Who's got a tie? Comes off of Ortiz, so it's going to be a corner. This would be a good chance for the Rovers. That's Janovic. Janovic. It's a good strike from distance, but he couldn't really direct it towards the goal. This often what happens with uh, Rovers uh, when they don't have the solution to play with uh, the three attackers up front. You have either Stojanovic, Vasalic, or Kiss, uh sending the, these long shots, and I think they're also a good opportunity to score. Yep. If they are on target, of course. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, Stojanovic has already scored from that distance, so definitely is a good good uh, thing to keep in mind when you can't have your three strikers up front get a shot on you have one of your midfielders do it exactly and the, I think others are the team that does it uh, best in the league um, I mean of course you have Stoyan you have uh, uh, Soboslai and Cabral scoring now but uh, no one does the best in the others Here's Pasalic. Oh, good stuff from Jeremiah in four. He's a great player, Jeremiah in four. He's underlooked, but yeah. he's, he's good. He's solid. I can't wait to see him. Oh, what a pass to Demi. Oh. Oh. But the effort, the the uh, 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 pass was what a pass that was. It was straight. That was a great, great pass, great vision. Yeah, it was straight down the middle, so it was it was very well picked out. Offside. Offside. Yeah, the defenders yeah. called for that, so it's a good call. Great alignment from defense. And yeah, I can't see. I can't wait to see uh, Jeremiah and Ford playing for the next regional, uh, uh, either games, a World Cup, even. Yeah. He's he's one of the great player of his region. Yeah, especially in his position. Yeah, uh, exactly. I think he'll be he'll be called up. I mean, I hope I hope for him because now it works with call ups. Here's ooh. That one wasn't far off, you know. Yep, that's what we were talking about. Yep. Was given a warning. So by the by the way, I'm thinking about it. Banana, uh, Cartilo is gone. There's no coach for <coughs> Western Europe anymore. Yeah. <gasps> oh, Ooh. how about that? Ademi with an absolute magical, that was a magical strike from Ademi. Curled right past Schneider. And it's 1-0 Rovers. He plays that very, very well. No step back, nothing. Just pure, pure strength of the body. Absolutely. All skill from Ademi. That's the goal they were looking for. And 
here's Garcha. It could be a second one here. Garcha. Ademi again. Oh, Ademi scores again. What from that angle as well. Ademi's having the match of his life right now. That is incredible. Yeah. Great, great angle. I and mean, he folded that. His knee strikers wouldn't have fold that ball. Just then they go into a corner oh. or, or, or something. And he folded that very well. No, not many strikers will score from that angle. But he's put it in the back of the net. And it's 2 0 now. It's looking more and more com more than complicated even for Norfolk to <laughs> come back from that. Absolutely. Looking and of course Rovers are looking more and more confident as time goes by. And here's Kirs again. Kirs has also been having a great match. Another foul. And another warning for McGee. Gotcha. Ademi. Ademi might be keen to get a third goal today. <laughs> Absolutely. I don't know what's the record. <gasps> in, Ooh. Uh, well. Most goals. I don't know what's the record in the, in the cup. For, for what in particular? Uh, more goals scored in a game. Oh, um, I'm not sure actually. I'm guessing 3-0 maybe. Maybe 4-0, I'm not sure. But here's Paquet. Oh, Ayodele no, with a good a, turn. By a single player. Oh. Ayodele maybe? Oh. Yeah, so <laughs> you had the same reaction I did. Took too much time, but it was a great move yeah but yeah most goals scored by one player i think that's test mm -hmm. who scored the most in one game in the cup yep um perhaps, hmm. i'm not sure if anybody's uh hmm. i'm not sure if in the cup anybody has scored a hat trick Maybe somebody can dig that up. Oh, Adami. Can you hear us? Uh, there's a moment. You have 45 minutes to score a third one. Good stuff from Shakeri. And Adami. Oh. Oh, to me again. Oh, good save from Schneider. Too short. You know, Ademi might get a third one today. Uh, looks like he's in really great form. And that's the thing with... <laughs> that's the thing with Rovers. Sometimes they wake up absolutely destroying teams. And, and some of the times they turn off. Oh, what a pass. Losses. What a Not pass. Being able to goals past the net. Chikari, maybe? What a pass that was from Rayo Kirs.
Just one minute of added time. We're already at the end of the first half. It's going to be a free kick for Norfolk in a good position. Ayodele. Interesting oh. one. Ooh. That girl almost got a header to it. There it is, the end of the first half. We're going to the break. It's been a very dominant performance from the Rovers. Ademi with two nil half time. I think the. Go ahead. Go ahead. Go ahead. Well, I think uh, work has been done brilliantly in this first half by Rovers. Uh, they just need to not concede now, which will be. Uh, Fairly easy considering the form of uh, Norfolk so far. They had their chances, but nothing very conclusive. And uh, yeah, Rovers are looking pretty dangerous today. Very dangerous. Definitely. I think you're absolutely right. It's going to be on Norfolk now. Rovers might might just shut it in and just uh, prevent Norfolk from getting any chances. So it definitely is on Norfolk now. So let's go right into it. That's domination, that's called domination. Yep, absolutely. And here's Garcha, this could be good. Early chance. With the third goal, Rovers definitely would put an end to this match. Early sub Ortiz is going to come off for Anthony Cole. Who, like I said before, yesterday, he's a rookie and he made his debut yesterday. So this will be his second match with Norfolk. Oh, this could be good for Kirs. Oh. Yes, yes. Has to clear it now. Kyrus. Don't play with fire, guys. Clear it. Just clear it. Yeah. <laughs> Kyrus has been amazing for the Rovers today. With Kyrus, I think it's the same as the Rovers. It's on and off. Sometimes, like today, it's a beautiful display of, uh, of passing and dribbling and sometimes shooting. And... You don't know why you have no answer to that, but some of the time it's just not it. Yeah. So I think Rovers really can do well if they find that sort of regularity in performances. Right, that sweet spot. Oh, what a pass! What a pass! Oh. What a pass that was from Garcha Pashalic with a little bit Yeah. With a little bit of more curve, that would have been 3 0 easily.
Kears. Great pass from Kears for Shikeri. Cuts in, but the deflection is saved by Schneider. Stojanovic, so we should carry. Who will get there first? No. Brighton Liverpool's about to start. Ooh, that's going to be a great game. Ricky with the cross. But damn, he's still going despite the tackles. Great and pass for challenges. Oh, it's going to be a free kick. Oh. Ooh. Oh, Kirst to take it. Maybe it's his chance. Over the ball, over the wall, but over the ball as well. Just one inch more forward, and it would have been a penalty. Offsides. Good stuff from uh, Felix Sanchez. Kiris, another great pass into space for Shikeri. They're just obliterating Norfolk on the wing. Um, yeah, yeah. But Demi is still here in position. Kiris. Up in wing plate. There he is. Well, tactically, Norfolk will evolve in the 4 3 1 2, and they should be occupying the wings, right? Yeah. Left back and right back should be occupying the wings and, and providing support in these areas. Matter of fact, they don't, so that's why uh, Rovers are actually really destroying them on the wings with these passes with Garcho, with Shikari. Nah, this is what happens. You're absolutely right there, no, no. Oh, Kiris, good deflection. It's not a danger. Pasha Oh, oh! Salich. Oh, it's in. It's it wasn't. In. It wasn't. That is, I think that's like the fourth time Norfolk have conceded a goal like that. Oh, it's Schneider again. We'll take a look at VAR here. Oh, look at that. The first header is cleared. Hits the boost, then Schneider. Oh, it goes in, yeah. And it goes in. Yeah, it will be a known goal. Yep. And all that came from across on the, on the left wing, actually. There you go. It's actually crazy how many times that's happened to Norfolk. I, I'm feeling very sorry for Schneider. Norfolk get a consolation goal, maybe. Here's Ayadeli. Oh, good dribbling from Ayadeli. No, oh, why did he track back? Uh, Guest. Oh, back. Ooh, Jordan Guest. Jordan Guest with a decent Great strike save. there. And a good save from Kask, as you said. Ayadeli's header is over. Schneider is uh, uh, actually um, resigning uh, from his job. What's that? Schneider is resigning from his, his job at um, Norfolk right now. Really? He can't take it anymore. 
Oh, dang. Okay, okay. Well, I don't know if he's joking, but... Well, we've got some live news now. We'll see, we'll see. He's twinning from the goalpost. Fifteen to go in this game, three nil. Can they score fourth one? That would be that would be massive, massive statement. Here's Pashalic, he's won it back. Shalich. Good stuff from the defense. Marcus is off for Horace Windrow, who's also making his debut. His first game ever, there he is. Oh, it's a bit harsh to send those rookies in these kind of games. Yeah. I mean, they have nothing to lose anymore, but it, it'll, it'll not be proved to be the best experience, the best first experience. It'll be good to see him in action at least. True, giving them playtime. It's a good pass to Beranger. Oh, good dribbling. Maybe he should have had a strike. Bonjour. <laughs> you good? Yeah, yeah, just Linton as always, but <laughs> Is that Bonjour your like your walk on theme song? <laughs> It is. Wait, how did how did you set that up? That's amazing. Uh, you can set that up on the um, fucking settings for all great great pass, great pass for Garcia. That's amazing. Is that like a Discord Nitro thing? I don't think so. That's awesome. <laughs> Stojanovic. Oh, Stojanovic is through. Stojanovic. I don't know what he was trying to do well, there. He took a decision, Stojanovic, but I don't know what that was. Yeah. Beranger. Oh, good pass. Oh, good effort. Great defending. Yeah, even though they're 3-0 down, Guest still is showing like signs of, uh, of greatness. His positioning especially good. Oh, well, greatness is relative to Norfolk, so... <laughs> oh, dang. I mean, for them it's good, but put them in any other team. Yeah. Definitely right there. That, that that's complicated, you know. Yeah. But yeah. Before. Oh, good pass. Uh, being interrupted. Oh, great, great pass. Before being interrupted by uh, the internet, I was about to say that I was very. <laughs> I was very happy by the performance of uh, Jeremiah N4. That's the only maybe satisfaction we can extract from that game. 
for that multiple game. Um, has yep. been decent, but it was not enough for them. It was not enough for them today. It was not. Rover is thoroughly dominant in this match. And they'll be moving on to the semifinals to, I think they'll be facing Leyenda. Kirs gets the assist for that. I think Kirs deserves to be in the talk for man of the match. Same thing with Ademi. Oh, Ademi scored two, and these were two great goals. Despite, yeah, it was a good performance from Kirs. Happens from time to time, and uh, it's great to see it happen today when it matters. Yep. Someone says, man, the match is, is Schneider for keeping his sanity. His sanity, which is maybe not wrong. Yeah, but if it's true that he's not going to be at the helm of Norfolk anymore, then... 21 shots, 9 on target. <laughs> That's all there is to say, really. Ademi was given man of the match, and look at that, 7.0 for Kiddis and 7.0 for Ademi. 7.0 for Cole as well. <laughs> oh, interesting. Alright, so man of the match. Um, uh, it's uh, It's got to be either between Ademi or Kiddis. Nothing has. Can, can we see some stats? Sure thing. What should we see? Uh, a dummy then cares, I think. Six shots for, for a dummy. And he was really good at passing as well. That was excellent stuff. And I want to see Kiris' stuff as well. Yeah, really great passing all over the pitch. Yeah. So I don't know, it's between those two. Yeah, I think my, my, you decide, but my take on it is to give it to them. I mean, scoring with brace isn't for everyone. Very um, true. Especially those two great goals. Yeah. Um, Although I do think that kids got a lot of great passes in especially down the wing we saw with Shaketi you know what I think I will give it to Kirs I think I will <laughs> alright alright that's fair <laughs> yeah cause uh, he makes a good point in the chat that without Kirs two of the three goals wouldn't have happened and also the a multitude of um, goal scoring opportunities. So I think that's fair. I think that's fair. That's fair. That's fair. What's the third game? The third game, I will tell you right now, it is Eshtahan versus Dragoish. Ooh. Ooh. Oh boy. That's an entertaining one. Yep. This is, I think, the real crunch match. Because Ishtan are coming up from a victory against Monaco, or Monaco, I don't know how you say it in French. Uh, Monaco. Monaco. French. Yeah. So, oh boy. 
We'll see, we'll see. But Dry Grizz did a good game against uh, Rovers yesterday. So. Yeah, that is true. It is. It's going to be interesting. It's going to be interesting. Yeah. And Eshdan have faced Dragoish before in the league. It was a 1 0 victory for Eshdan. Alright, you ready? This is this I think this match we're re we're in for a real treat. Absolutely. I can't wait. I can't wait. Alright. No extra times yet. Do you think this might be the match? No. I think we'll witness goals in this game. All right. I mean, up front, you have Chess. Uh, you have Aleph Imran, a, a regional World Cup winner. I like to insist on that. Mm. You have Tom Price. All right, some people might say, yeah, Tom Price is not it. He's not it, but I know that in important moments. He can step up and do his thing, yeah? Definitely. He's he's definitely been playing a part in the Dragoish system this season. Tom Price. True. I'm super pumped for this one. I feel like this one's going to be a great match. All right. Third match. We're just cruising through. It is great. It is actually great. Now, beat this side is important, but... I guess we all have things to do today, <laughs> depending on what time it is for you all. Ferdinand, maybe oh. early chance. Great block. The Gorsh have come out swinging. Ooh. Ooh. By the way, I'd like to stress this once again for all the young audience. Um, don't drink too much, all right. Um, keep it, keep it cool. Um, with moderation, that's right, with moderation. Yeah. And that's a great, great pass to Alif and Run. Yeah, what a great, what a great segue. <laughs> Yeah, uh, great, great, uh, uh, a piece of advice there. Yeah, every week you'll get a uh, life, life advice. So yeah, don't don't drink too much, uh, and and keep it cool with the tequila bottle. Very right. true. I'm hanging out with Saki too much, with, <laughs> with Latin Americans too much, so uh, now I, I'm hooked with tequila, I can't. <laughs> yeah, me. <laughs> <laughs> That's you. That's your fault. I blame it on you. Yeah, it's all me. It's all me, guys. <laughs> All the jokes aside, um, yeah, keep it cool. Tom Price. Dragos are playing actually good 
in this first 10 minutes. Yeah, they've had their one or two chances here, so might be a good ch uh, 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 view of things to come. Alessio says, I can't drink, so I'm fine. He's right. <coughs> Keep it up, wait. And, and Fred is saying, get wasted on stream. I'm not going to do that. <laughs> I don't think that'd be good for our public image. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think so. I'm not going to do that because uh, otherwise I'm going to get fired real quickly. <laughs> Oh, Jekyll Torres. Oh, great save. And great clearance as well. Um, I'm not, I'm, I'm absolutely not going to do that, Fred. Uh, but, yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, what a pass, I'm Chess. Ooh. Chess. What a great pass that was from Tyler Adams to Chess. It was right down the middle. Maybe he should have done yeah. a bit better. Great, uh, great end start to the first uh, early chances. Uh, for Dragos, great answer for from Hezdahan. Oh, Virginia Emmett with a great recovery. Chess, he headed it the wrong way. Tom Price now. Yep. Brighton scored. Ooh. Let me guess. It was that Brazilian kid. What was his name? João João Pedro, something like that. Ferdinand, Blackwood. Blackwood. One of these teams is going to go out, though. What a pass. Loot. Oh, no. Oh. Oh. Ooh. Ooh. Tyler Adams. Tyler with a, Adams. What a rocket that was. <laughs> Did that hit the straight post? I think that was straight to Trudzen, actually. What a pass. And what a strike. That was a great, great cross. Great, great cross. And now it's Simran Stern. Alex Anderson. Oh, good interception. This could be good for Dragos. Yep. Oh. Cross from Tom Price. And it's headed away. It is a bit unusual to see Tom Price not playing as nine, but uh, I guess so far it works. Yeah, like I said, he definitely has been fitting into the uh, the system at Dragos. Yes. Great passing play from Dragos, but so far it's Hajan who had the best chances. Except if. Except if what? Except if something would have happened in that opportunity, but oh. nothing came out of it. So. <laughs> this could be a good chance for Hajan. They're in a good position. Chris Powell.
Another throw. Tyler Adams to Chris Powell. Chris Powell. Good cross. Chess. Oh. You know, that's how Eshan scored against Monaco. It was a cross in through this, not through the side, but sort of like diagonal cross from Lee Ryu Jong. And then Chris Powell yeah. hit it from close range. Still no goals, and we're just about ready to hit the 35th minute right about now. Alex Henderson. Oh, what a pass from Garrett Hart to Alifi Miran. If he can keep it oh. good. Good defensive work from Lute. Powell, Tyler Adams. Oh. Garrett Hart has been having a great game today. Yeah, has been everywhere. Oh, good move by Ipan. You know, I'm actually thinking about Norfolk. And, you know, it's. That teams have bad results and bad form, and that happens. But now with oh. relegation, all oh, Ferdinand great. That Ferdinand dribbling was a masterpiece. But yeah, go ahead. Uh, yeah, I think teams have you know bad moments, bad form, and all that. Uh, but thing is, I mean, it happened. It has happened to Norfolk, happened to other teams as well. But now with the relegation threat it's harder than ever there's even more pressure on coaches and teams on players Definitely. it's a it's a cruel game football who what a strike that was from chris powell what a great pass as well from I believe that was Virginia Emmett. But yeah, it's 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 tough. It's definitely it's it can definitely be uh, an up and down sort of thing, you know, because it's not like games. It's not like you can play the games like all in one take, you know, like you have to wake every week for games. Yeah, and. You can oh Chris Powell here yeah, good pass to Chess. Chris Powell. You, you can lose a game two three. Uh, you can have a bad season, but now there's a threat of going down. You know, before you could have a bad season and just say, well it's going to be better next season. Yeah, we're going to have other players who give aways and change tactics and all that. Now if you have these sort of bad moments, you have to correct the trajectory really, real quickly. Right. Then again, for teams that might get relegated, it could be a good chance to restart, you know, start fresh, start on a blank canvas, and go at it again. It is true, it is true, but 
Will, won't it be hard to, for them to get players, you know? Like, not rookies, uh, transferring in players. Um, well, if, if they have access to, like, free agents, then yeah, they can definitely sign new players. Like, snap up new players. And of course, I'm always... I'm always keeping the, uh, what's it called, the skill level in mind so that it doesn't happen where it's like a yo-yo thing. So at least teams have a chance of staying up. But yeah, speaking of that as well, I was also thinking if the teams do particularly well in Europe, I was thinking of opening another spot for next season so that four teams go to Europe instead of three. From so the top league. four would mean something. Yeah. Well, it's uh, how it works in real life with uh, coefficients. Definitely. If we get enough points. Now we could have uh, fourth place being. Uh, um, you qualify to preliminary rounds, you know? Maybe, yeah. Uh, you're, not you're not qualified directly to group stage, but you have to beat other European teams to get there. <laughs> well, yeah, that's what I've been thinking, because if, if teams do perform well, then I'd be more than happy to, to uh, you know, open up some spots. Yeah, oh, well, down got to do better now. And, and Europa League, but here as well, because it's still no no after this first half. All right, but we're underway now. Here's Chess. Oh, <laughs> that was a bit Good of a bizarre effort, but yeah. about that what a goal Chris from Chris Powell. Powell he doesn't disappoint left foot one touch no control nothing just him and his inspiration and we've been talking about him in the first half oh Great curl, great effort on the ball. And it's 1-0 Eshtohan. Right after the break. Yep. yep. Ah, we've been seeing some beautiful goals today. You love to see it. Uh, absolutely. Oh, that skill. Did you see that from Ramirez? Oh, yeah. He had that step over. <laughs> well, actually, with all the goals from today and this season. Alif Imran. Alif Imran, oh. maybe two. <laughs> good save. Good save from Kabiri. Yeah, with all the goals we've seen so far in this season and today, especially, we can refresh all the uh, little introductions. Uh, for the league, the, the cup off as well. We can make new compilations because we've seen some bangers so far. Yes. Ferdinand. Good stuff. As John defense has been so far so good. Chris Powell is off. Tom Price as well. He did his job. Now he gets Plays the rest. 15 minutes and yep. Half time wasn't enough for him. <laughs>
head is. Yeah. Oh, yeah, actually, you see Zeko Torres in midfield. Yep. Yep, he's moved oh, up now. Yep, that's the thing. Oh, oh, great, great clearance. Yeah, Trey Lubin is super underrated, I feel. Oh, Ferdinand. It's Trey cool, Lubin again. Oh! Ooh. Would have been great to get them back into the game. Yeah, definitely. Luckily, Kabidi was right there. Well, it's going to be hard for Hezdan when Kabiri leaves at the end of the season. So, Ooh. so many juicy, juicy developments are going to happen for season six. Oh, I have things I can't tell you now, but... <laughs> oh, no. Yep, yep, I'll... I'll keep the secret for the audience to yellow for Nakamoto. But the off-season between Season 5 and Season 6, so oh my days. You're not ready for that, Virginia, I as well yeah without him it's gonna be a whole whole not thing for Ejdehan next season mm -hmm. unless what if a, a VCL goalkeeper maybe shows his shows his grit if he gets that well, that signing to a VPL club yeah but they I mean they will have to, to sign someone at some point because they can't play Virginia Emmett in goal, can they? Can they? Ooh, we're about to see something amazing happen. <laughs> like Giroud. Yeah, like yesterday, yeah? <laughs> well, they will have to find someone. So. We'll see who that person might be. Yeah. I mean, we've seen great displays from a VCL goalkeeper. Ryan Harper, Cody Parks. So uh, we'll see how it goes for them. And maybe they get this call from the VPL. Or maybe someone new has, who hasn't joined the league yet comes up in the yeah. future. Oh, going, playing the VPL with a rookie goalkeeper is... Uh, it's a bit of a challenge, but it can surely be done. Well, we'll just have to wait. <laughs> it's, like a, it's like a new season of a TV show. <laughs> we'll just have to wait. It is the, like the Kardashians, it's the Kabiris, the <laughs> Ejdans. The Kabiris. <laughs> And so far, so good for Ejdan. Um, by the way, if you don't if you don't watch the VCL, I invite you to do it because it is always very entertaining. Uh, it is shorter than the VPL because you only have two games per match. Right? So yeah. If you don't, you should. I watched it uh, yesterday. I, c I couldn't attend it live because I had a meeting to go to, but I watched it. That was that was a great performance from Bayern Munich. Oh, yeah. But wait to see what happens to in today's episode. Yep. Oh, dang, you're right. <laughs> I mean, I don't know if you've seen it already, but... Nah, I, I, no? I'll only watch it live. All right, all right. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, man, I don't want to... I don't want to peek into the Christmas presents too early, man. 
Oh, okay. So I, I sent I sent the videos so you don't even watch them. <laughs> Garrett Hart off target. Uh, Garrett Hart, like I said, has been having a good game. It's unfortunate that he hasn't really provided any assists, though. Bomb. I think uh, Alex Anderson is doing good with Dragos for this rebuild after this uh, after this uh, Floyd era. Yep. Has to re not not rebuild everything from the the bottom, but uh, it's a hard task that he has to to do with. Emran is off Makic, um, but he, he's doing well. He's actually doing well for the first season. So Yeah, definitely. Absolutely. Twitching's hands. We have some 10 minutes plus injury time. I don't see the score evolving, but we absolutely never know. Last minute the goal can change everything. Absolutely. Got news from the Liverpool game. It's 1 1 Salah. Oh. Do you support any English club, Alessio? It looks like Eshdan has switched to a much more defensive role now. They're going to sit back and wait this one out. Yep. And I think having uh, Dick Doris in midfield helps with that sort of stuff. Uh, we've seen good display of performances from ex-defenders playing in midfield. I think that, of course, Dick Doris, but Bjornsson as well. Yeah. Uh, very solid playing as a defensive midfielder when it happens. Uh, so it's a good tactical change, I'd say. Um... The other one I would love to talk about is Zafinho playing as, as a striker. Ooh, but yeah. It is, well, entertaining for the fans. Uh, but we're yet to see a greater results, except that one goal in the, in the cup last time. Mm -hmm. but, but I think he has to sh show us what he can do on that wing. Yep. Alright, we've entered stoppage time. I don't think that Agoj will get a chance here, but they might be able to do so with this one right here. Rujong is off, Robinson is off. The big, big leaders of this team. If it would be a shame if it would be a shame if they were to go. Nino clears it. Surely it'll be over after this play right here. Yes. And it is. As done with Chris Powell's marvelous goal, go through to the semifinals. Yeah. That was a great goal by Chris Powell. 
and even though Eshdan had the upper hand, uh, they didn't had a lot of chances in the second half. No, it was uh, much. Uh, yep. No, yeah, yeah, yeah. It was it was much more uh, up in the air. Yeah, exactly. Uh, and I think Dragos might need a top attacker for for next season or the remainder of the season or or find a rookie because. Uh, the midfield has been has been good, has been solid with Gary Hart um, and Alex Anderson providing on his, uh, as a right back. But I think the attacking power uh, is, is needed if they want to do more. So the cup merchants advance to the semis. They'll have to wait to see who they'll face, whether it's Palmas. Or the Royals. No, the easier draw for them is Palmish, but we don't really know. Let me ping those teams so they know they're up. In the meantime, who do you guys think was man of the match today? Oh, it was a great performance from Chris Powell, but unfortunately we only saw him for 50 minutes. So, I would love to see him more on the pitch. Spending more yeah. time on the pitch. The game gives it to Chester Chess. So Chris Powell was given a seven. Let's take a look at his stats. Passing. Chess was a lot of strikes. Good passing and interceptions as well. Powell was good even without the goal. Yeah. If he would have played yeah, a, he was it would have been good to see, like you said, no, no, it would have been good to see a bit more from him in terms of being on the pitch. Yeah, unfortunately, that was the that was the, the coach's decision to take him out, take him off. He was maybe a bit tired. We don't know. All right. I think I will give it to Chris Powell then. Great goal, great performance, great cameo from him. Camillo, Camillo, I don't know. All right. But now we have a very interesting prospect. Palmas will face Royals, a VCL VPL encounter. This, this is not the first one of its kind, because we saw it. Uh, last cup games, the last cup round, but now it is Barmish against Oslo. Uh, I think two teams that are sort of equal. All right, we're gonna go to our beloved BPSA Reina. There it is. All right. These are not league games, are they? No, sir. These are the cup. This is the cup match. The Kure, he's he's good with Burro as well and defense for Parmish. Uh, I feel very happy to see a, a VC, v, yeah, VCL team here because 
there, you know, feels like it's, it, it's my son playing. <laughs> I'm very proud to see my boys up here. All right. Yep, we'll see how these guys do. Who do you think is the player to watch on uh, Palmas? Oh, uh, Brock for sure. Mm. I mean, Saint Cartilo would be would be the easy answer, but Brock has a real talent. Uh, having Rock Cheswell as a defensive mid is, is good. It's perfect. The uh, core is good in, in cent as a centre back. Burro is vital. So, but Brock. Brock Martin is a solid as well as a defensive mid. I think the midfield that they have is is really solid. I mean, for the for the uh, VCL, I don't know how old up to these VPL teams. All right. Let's we'll see how they stack up against Royals. Oh, my music's still playing. It'll be very interesting to see how Padmas cope with Royals, considering that the Royals, uh, just by the skill level, are faster, quicker, more accurate. So we'll see how they deal with that. Yeah, uh, if, if you watch the Padmas uh, games, you see they have this sort of pressure, very high pressure on the defensive lines that they do in the VCL. So I don't know how it works against a VPL team that has more stamina than them, has more, as you said, uh, speed, skills, technique. But it'll be for sure interesting. Definitely. I think the key for Palmas will be to get those balls to uh, Romeo. And see what he can do with the ball. Because he's their main man exactly. at the moment. Up front at least. But that's the thing with uh, the Palmas games. Uh, I, I've, I've seen uh, oh. Romeo often gets the ball, uh, he's not facing the ball, yeah, he's not facing the play, so he has to play with uh, um, his wingers, he's not really in position to score. Oh, Bale, ooh, ooh, ooh. <laughs> Yo, what's happening? <laughs> I don't know what happened, but Parmas got saved there. Early warning for Alessio. That surgery has 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 uh, sparked something in him. Now he's out for venom. Yeah, he's out for blood. Yep. Here's Rocha. Good stuff from the Royals. Burro on the wing. Oh, good stuff from Burro. Burro. Ooh. Burro. Oh. Maybe a corner. French shoe's gonna That's take the thing it. With him. That's the thing with him in the VCR. He is everywhere. If the if attack and defense, he's, Burro is, is key for Farmers. It was a very good recruit. It was.
Martinez. Oh. You know, Palmas have had their, their uh, fair share of possession. Oh, good stuff from Brock. Oh. Espolón now. Oh, good stuff from Espolón. Oh, is he going to go through? Oh. Aww. He go all the way. It was four against the one. He wasn't going to get through. Again to Brock. This could be good for Palmas. Oh. Good, good from the core, eh? Yep. Good recovery by Stevie Wonder. And Fernando da Silva is on it. No mistake. Play it from the back. Easy. Oh, cow. That's the thing the, w the wingers that they have oh, cow, eh? oh, cow and Renshu, they need a bit more experience, I'd say. Because. Uh, they're good in the VCR, but here they might like, they might lack uh, that experience that part of the other players have. Definitely. The other defenders have, you know. Absolutely. Well, you've got to gain it somehow, and sometimes you gotta. You learn the most when you're just thrown into the deep end of the pool. So. The bubble. Oh, Bubba's on the wing. Who does he cross. find? Fade away. This is also a good test for Palmas, considering that the Royals are currently sitting in the relegation spot. Yeah, so for the relegation playoff. It's a good idea to see where they're at in terms of their competition. Yeah. Well, it's playing rookies against players that have maybe four or five years of experience and training in this league. They've been they've been holding their weight though so far. There's Brock. They just seem to lose it in the midfield at the moment. Yep. Well, of course, the uh, also the midfield is uh, way more experienced, more skills. Oh, unless you're still here, can we go all the way? He does. He does very composed from Alessio, and it's one nil Royals. The goal they were looking for. After something like even in, into the game. Yep, 
Very composed from Alessio. This is what happened yesterday uh, during the Bayamon game. Yeah. Um, with uh, Ryan Adam. And that's where you understand the difference between D1 and D2 players uh, in terms of skill, in terms of dribbling, effort, and all that. So, well, there's some work. There's absolutely some work to do. And uh, I'm a bit afraid for the legation playoff because, well, I feel like D1 teams, wherever they could be, will win them. Maybe. How Palmas respond? Oh, he's through. Oh. Oh, Renshi wins it back. Oh. Ooh. Ooh, that will be a corner kick. Yep. To be a good chance for Palmas. Oh, good cross. Oh. oh. Cartillo. Oh. That was a. That was an excellent chance for Palmas, but it was so unfortunate that Cartillo couldn't get anything on it. Pressuring, they'll have to get it out. Well, we in the end of the first half, and with a one-nil lead, lead, sorry, uh, Oslo is is doing the job so far. They are. That was a wild sequence of events there. Yep. <laughs> Great individual effort from Alessio. Oh, just those two highlights. Awesome. All right. I must have been having more possession. They haven't true, really, true. They haven't really been doing much with it, though. Only one strike. And that's usually what happens in the games. They have the possession. They have the pass and play. And this midfield with Martinez, Brock, and, uh, and Rocha is really good. But here, although they may have possession, they can't get out of this sort of trap set by Oslo in the field, so um, it'll be their challenge to put Cartillo in a great position to score. Absolutely. We'll see what we'll see what happens in the second half here. There's still 45 minutes to play and it looks like Palmas are gonna go more attacking now. See how that goes. I'm gonna take some water actually, I'll be right back.
All right, I'm back. You've missed like four or five goals, <laughs> but that's fine. No, it always happens to me. Here's Hernandez. Maybe a cross, he does. Bale. The tackle from Fernando da Silva. Also, those ad boards are awesome. <laughs> That's Bologna. Alessio. Um, and Oslo ditched the 4 4 2 for a more modern 4 3 3, so. Good, good, good. It is actually a good move. Not a big fan of that. Watch is on for Arco. Yep. So they're, ma they're making an attacking substitution, maybe get some fresher legs up front. Well, they have nothing to lose, and uh, Walsh is, is uh, actually not a bad uh, player. So, especially on the wing ladder. Oh, straight red. Wow, a straight red for Fernando da Silva. So now they're playing with 10. 10 men, they just done them an attacking substitution. That was out of left field, if I'm honest. I don't know if I agree with that from the ref. And the tackle was pretty bad. From behind, two legs, not playing the ball, not even a second. Now with time, man, it's going to be even harder. It will be. Yeah, I don't know what the referee was thinking there. That was, that was, I've never seen that before. Just a straight red for that. I remember, I remember saying uh, Zafinho uh, being awarded a straight red at the regional World Cup. Oh. But. Bobo, champion. Champion to Bobo again, maybe. No, didn't, didn't pass. Oh, he's through. Always through. He's got to put it in. Oh. Goal. Great save. Great save. Oh. Except oh. Ah. oh. I should have it done was better. Chance. Yeah. He will never have a chance like that. It was practically it was putting them back into the game, 10 yeah. men down. All right, there's the sub. I'm gonna choose off for Zelenko. Alessio Bobo. They're breaking it apart now, Alessio. Oh, oh. oh, it hits the post. It hits the post. Alessio could have got a second one there. It was a great shot, great call on it. The 
There's Brock. Oh, he's lost to Hernandez now. Lucio. Great pass. Has to pass to him again. Oh, Bobo with the interception. Good stuff from Burro. Yep. Zelenko was fouled. How is that not a red ref? Oh my goodness. Ooh. All right, all Martinez. right, Martinez. If that went in, nobody would have ever heard the end of that one. Intercepted. Walsh. Twenty to go in. Bow now. Yeah. Uh, Palmish can't do really anything. Ten men down. Down to ten men, son. Yep. If they were down ten men, that would be really bad news. <laughs> Playing very wide, Palmas. And Hernandez is off for hiking. He was pressuring. Oh, no mistake from Kimura. No, nope, very steady from him so far. Except for the one we saw in the first half, but. You know what we've seen? Oh, oh Walsh. Oh. Walsh. What we've seen here was common. Uh, and the first two to three season of the VPL, it's a uh, uh, player's not releasing the ball uh, at the right time or at the right place. And it's a problem that can be fixed, but D2 teams will have to fix that if they want to face D1 teams properly. Definitely. pressure and very steady from Palmas very calm oh Bobo pokes it away Around 10 minutes to go without a time. Still no sign of a farmer's reaction. It'll really take something, I think, for that to happen. Yep. They're trying, they're trying. You see him pressing the line, pressuring the line. Montero Diaz now.
very quiet so far for the past few minutes. Very nervy, I think. Yeah. But I think uh, Oslo, they don't need more. They don't need to attack more than that. They know that Palmish will not threaten them 10 men down, so they can just wait and see. Definitely. Oh, Zelenko. Zelenko! Oh. Very good effort. I think it'll be over very soon here. This will be the last chance for Palmas. Yep. Yep, it'll be a free kick for the Rose, and I think it'll end right when this ball is touched. Yep. Royals yeah. will go through. A solid performance from them. Very, very solid. Unfortunate for Palmas that they were had a player sent off, which I really don't think that was a red card, but that's how it goes. So in the semifinals, we'll have Leyenda versus Rovers and Ejdahan versus Royals. Well, these are going to be great, great games. Uh, Ezran Royals is... I mean, Royals can do it. They can do it. I think they can do it in access to the final one on the other game. Uh, well... Rav is all the favorite. Let's see. Man, if that went in from Martinez. Damn. <laughs> All right. Men of the match, who are we saying? Oh. Mm. Simeone was, was good. Ooh. Yeah. It was See, I tell you that, and I see that he's named out of the match just afterwards, so... Yeah, 8.0. <laughs> Alright, so I think I, I think I will give it to Alessio then. Yeah, he was great today. He was a machine in the midfield. He can show... He's shown what he can do in the midfield when he's given the space. It's All a right. well-deserved Mario Match award, man. All right. But yes, I think I think that's it. I think yeah, that's it. Yeah, that's it for today. Wow, look at that. What it went by pretty quickly, actually. Hey, when there's no extra time and no little ease. <laughs> Very true. We just cruise on by. All right, but that will do it. Let me. Let me. That was a great match day. Yeah. It was a lot of fun. We had some really, really great matches. Um, Griffins are out of the cup. Leyenda were through. So Which is a big upset. Yeah. So I'll be very curious to see how things get on in the semifinals. So 
is Oslo Eshtehan the legendary cup game? You're absolutely right, Alessio. It will be Oslo Eshtehan in the semifinals. One of those teams will get to go to the finals. Could it be Eshtehan again in the cup? Hey, that's that. Uh, that could be something. That could be something. We well, we'll have to wait until then. But until then, uh, it's been a great, great match day, like you said, No No. Uh, and yeah, uh, we'll be tuning in for the VCL match day four later on. Um, and then, yeah, that'll be that. And I hope you guys have a great rest of your week. That does it for another beautiful weekend of VPSA football. Uh, yeah. No, no, are you still here? I was very happy. Oh, yeah. Yep. Yeah. Yeah, yeah go I ahead. I was very happy to piece. be with you, uh, today, uh, when will be the semi-finals in two weeks? Let me take a quick gander here. It's the parent looks like it'll be, yeah, in about two weeks time. So we'll have plenty of time until then. Two weeks. All right. So I will see you with Saki in two weeks. And uh, I'll, I'll see you tonight for the, of course, uh, VCR gate now has already been recorded yesterday. You know it. I'll be there. We'll yeah. be there. <laughs> we'll all be there. We'll absolutely be there. We'll be there. So thank you very much for tuning in today. And uh, yeah, have a great day, everyone. All right. You heard the man. Take care. See you guys.